everybody. We're here on the road at the Spring Cinema and Tap House with our good friend, the Bill Tush. How are you doing today, Bill? I'm just super. Just or super, as they say in France. Excellent. Well, the reason we're here, we're going to give you a tour behind the scenes to show modern movie projection systems so you understand what it takes to bring that big movie to the big screen and you can compare modern systems with the old 35 millimeter and I used to be a projectionist and all theaters ran film 35 millimeter well technology took over and everything is digital so let's go with my buddy Bill Tush and take a look at the booth. Well, all right. projectors the day of sound. <laughs> <laughs> that was on a disc. That's what I thought. See how all the old 35 millimeter projectors have been replaced by big video. Digital projectors. Digital projectors. And then uh, these put out a great image on the screen, but it's not as much fun as when I was a projectionist. Well, fun for you because you were a projectionist. Projectionist. The average film goer doesn't. Care. But people in the theaters today, they don't really care if it's film or digital. No, Only they can watch gotten, the movie. The quality's gotten so good you really can't tell the difference anymore. And you can program your trailers and your feature all on the drive. Yeah. And once you set it up, it's there. And there's no need to have a person come in in the morning and crank it up. It goes all no. by itself. Now, there is one rewind. difference. No films to rewind. Yeah, yeah, no, the rewind. But here, there's the difference. And, you know, the old projectors used to have lamps and bulbs. Right. And stuff. Well, this one doesn't have. You know, a lot of people don't know. This has a flashlight. <laughs> and what you do is you shine the flashlight through here. And that's how the projector works. That's how He's a funny guy. I've known Bill Tush longer than I care to remember. But I wasn't funny. That's right. He's, <laughs> he's been truthful. From, uh, from uh, the Turner days. But, no, really, it's a, it's a projection. It's a big lamp in there. And they're very expensive to replace. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. That, that, the whole thing's very expensive, yeah. actually. This machine usually is about $60,000. So, and a lot of theaters will lease the projector. So, Bill, to get it going, what do you got to do over here? Well, I don't have to do anything because it's all on the computer and it, it starts automatically. It's on schedule, uh, which means uh, when it goes at uh, 1, 1 20 or 2.35 today, 2.35 p.m., it'll start automatically, and hopefully. And if it doesn't, then I, people come and complain and I have to come up here and, and I know what I'm doing. And they have a high-end sound system here. Yeah. The QSC power. Yeah. It's, it's these are your Dolby processors up top here. And these are your power amps for your channels here. But, but they made the old 35s into stereo too, didn't they? Oh yeah. yeah. Dolby Digital. We see we still have some old reels over there from the days when uh, we ran a film. A platter. Well, that's not the platters over there. This is just the... So you wouldn't have to, you know, the films used to come on eight or nine reels. And they would they would put them on these large reels and then wind them onto a platter system. Yeah. So meaning it would go into the projector and then rewind um, itself, right? It's like, it's like a continuous loop. Yeah. yeah. But video, that's it's so much easier. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed Enjoy. your tour. We'll stay and watch a movie. All right. Thank you, Al. All right.